Hello my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here, and I'm here to bring you a new hike this week. I am at Osceola National Forest in Florida. It is west of Jacksonville and pretty close to the state border between Georgia and Florida. So I am at the Hog Pen Landing. There's about eight campsites here. Uh, I am at number eight. This is the last one uh, in, the, in the area. Uh, so I wanted to pop open the camera and tell you guys kind of what is going on right now. So you can see I've got my car, I've got my tent set up. I've also got a yoga mat I'm about to do yoga uh, after I eat and in front of me is the Yeti cooler uh, so let me go ahead and show you what I've been doing to keep my food fresh this is day three of living out of my car I left st. Louis on January 4th in the morning no January 3rd in the morning and we got to Nashville uh, Kylie and I and we stayed in an RV park outside of Nashville. Uh, pretty cool town, city, city, pretty cool city. And we had uh, Wild Cow, special shout out to Wild Cow. It's this entirely vegan restaurant um, on the east side of Nashville. It was so good and the majority of their menu is also gluten free. So Kylie was really happy, really pleased with um, being able to not have to worry about the vegan and gluten-free options. So I am looking at what I wanna have for lunch right now. I've got vacuum sealed quinoa, I've got jelly, uh, bread, and then I've got this delicious looking chili and that is gonna be the winner. So I'm gonna down that, that chili. I've also got this incredible date spread that Kylie's grandma made. Uh, it's just so good. Homemade date spread. All right, so let's go over to my car and I'll show you how I've organized myself. So this is what's going on. I've got that's my camping box, so it's empty, everything's out and set up. On top of that is my files. And then I've got one suitcase, two suitcase, uh, winter clothing, pants, long sleeves, and then athletic gear. I've got a pillow, gym bag in front of that, under this big suitcase is <clears throat> two blankets and another pillow. Uh, behind that is a big box full of books as well as my laptop and my Oculus. And then I've got a bag of dry foods to the left of that. And another bag of canned goods and rice, dry foods. And then this box is... Toilet paper, paper towel, cleaning supplies, soap, Clorox, all that good stuff. And then I keep my shoes right here. Right here is toiletries that I don't need every day. And then I've got my toiletries that I do need every day. Got my dirty laundry happening there. And then I've got plates and silverware right here. And tucked away is my speaker. So really that is all that I need to survive, at least as far as I know. Uh, day three, it's been working out really well. So yeah, just open up the trunk and everything's really easy to, to access. I've got the stuff I don't really touch tucked away underneath the things that I'm moving around um, every day. And by moving around, I just mean pulling this forward picking out my clothes for the day. Same with that. So, yeah, that is what's happening. 
Osceola National Forest has been really, really neat. Very different feel. The trees are very different. We've got all the Spanish moss in front of me. And we are at, this is called Ocean Pond. This large pond in front of me. So there's two campgrounds that I looked at. Uh, this one that I'm at, again, is Hog Pen Landing. And then the other one about 10, 12 minutes away is Ocean Pond Campgrounds. The Ocean Pond Campgrounds are really cool. They've got electric, they've got water hookups, and then they've also got primitive. So all the tent camping can happen there too. The only reason I didn't touch down there is because they're... They have a, a break in their water pipe. So all the uh, toilets, showers, it's all closed down. Like, I don't know, because there's a lot of people there. I don't know how these people are, are pooping because there's no entry to the toilets. But on this campground, there is two pit toilets. So that was pretty much the deciding factor. I mean, we gotta have toilets. So yeah, this was $10 a night uh, with, it's actually $5 because I've got the beautiful America pass. The other camp sites were $12. The water, uh, water camp sites were $20 and the electric camp sites were $30. Kylie and Maya are on their way here. The three of us stayed at a hotel last night. Uh, so we picked up Maya in Georgia, Athens, Georgia, and then drove another hour and a half south to get closer to Florida. Stayed at the hotel for the night. And then I dipped out early because these campsites are first come, first serve. So I wanted to make sure that we had somewhere to stay for the next two nights. And my Subaru goes a lot faster than her van. So, like I said, Kylie and Maya and Octo, the cat, are gonna be arriving probably in the next two to three hours. And then the party will start. Okay. That's the update. I will know more as we go forward. All right. Peace.